I love these bits of the rides. All in. Oh. All right. It's quite light. Not expecting that. <laughs> Sorry. Oh. Morning. My name's Guy Kesteven. I've been a professional bike and kit tester for tw nearly 20, well, actually it's pretty much 25 years now. But today I'm out on my specialized chisel, XC Experimental Hardtail build with these lovely bunch of boys. So we've got a mix of mountain bike and gravel bike, hardtail, full source. That's a cyclocross bike actually, to see how they compare to uh, hopped up super lightweight hard tail uh, with a rigid post on it around the uh, Kestrel route so heading out from Ripley in Harrogate uh, oh, it's kind of an old school XC blast that's well it's quite a lot of gravel quite a lot of road on this one so we'll see how the bike goes uh, just to warn you I've had about three and a half hours sleep so I'm mangled uh, which is why this is such a garbled intro so You've got that to throw into the performance equation as well, but normally us four are pretty well matched, so it'll be a decent template otherwise. Crack on. So, done a bit of single track out the back of Ripley, road climb, wooded descent. And unsurprisingly, this was in its element. Although I'm still not used to not having a dropper, to be fair. And now we're on to proper gravel. Good speed. 34k up here. See how Andy does on his giant old Ben on his eyeball. Oh, they've not come past me. That's a good sign. No, I don't think I've dropped him. A bit early for that. Oh, it's Axis with this roadblock on. Tend to do a lot of multiple shifts to be fair, but you can barely feel them. It's so smooth. And he's got a bit more rubber and obviously a flat bar to drift with a bit more confidence. Waited till the camera is off and then came past us. But he's having to back off from here. <laughs> and then we're at the road anyway. Now if you watched the previous ride, you'll know Andy next to me, he's a wily old dog. There's a hell of a kick on him. So he's already done the smart thing. Brought the speed down as we come on. <laughs> so see what your strategy is up here. Steep at the, well, steepish at the bottom. And then, whoa, well, stop! Thank you! Unexpected. You're still paying attention. And there's Andy too. Didn't hear him climb up on me. Quite a long drag to the top. There he goes. Oh, he's putting it down. Oh, close. I'm painful. Oh. Oh. <laughs> nice one, Andy. Nice I think we better wait for Ben and Neil. And this is obviously more XC in demeanor this time. So is the descent after it, to be honest. I'm out lipping the throttle on this. It's so smooth and responsive. I actually got a guest reserve 
XC28 way in the back just to see how that feels out of the blur and on the hardtail even smoother so quiet I mean same hub still the DT350 but noticeably more damped forgiving rim feel than the uh, specialised controls and it's only the tyre difference in weight so that's worked well <laughs> especially long sections like this they do tend to get battered about on the gravel bike Welcome. morning Thank you very much. Oh, what a beautiful dog. Hello. I just came back. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, it's quite funny, did an interview for Marcus for his gravel book that's coming out. He was like, where do you see gravel bikes in 10 years? I was like, well, to be honest, it's kind of already there for rougher trails. We just call them cross-country mountain bikes. This is a prime example of that. It's that cobbly section back there. Always loses you some time on gravel. Even that first turn can be a bit sketchy on 40 mils, but with these renegades on the front, you know, 61 mil tire, T7, stickier compound on the corners. No drama. And yeah, the handling's quick for a mountain bike, but super well balanced for this kind of flatter super fast single track and doesn't seem to be causing any issues climbing up here either big old gap behind again thank you chisel yeah and well, i have to ask can you even uh, see the other guys i guess that's proving a point to a certain extent bike let's just concentrate on the bike though not me yeah i'm wearing lycra possibly taking this quite seriously today but yeah this bike damn oh and expect a review of the uh, hope xcr brakes coming up shortly as well nice bit of the yorkshire side of the bianchi even got some cypress trees over there <laughs> so far this hot rod is damn hot and one thing i didn't mention before he's having like, a bit of extra length give it some nice stability because this is an XL just a bit more stretched get away with a smaller cockpit fancy looking syncross bar and stem the only thing I've been worried that uh, this block wouldn't go low enough I didn't even use bottom com that's 36 and I did the buzzard on Monday in the rain with Marcus be honest I could do it with a slightly larger top gear a village sign sprint another crucial moment right back on the road anyway oh, and he's got the jump on me yeah <laughs> what was I saying about village sign sprints oh, Andy knows where they all are to pay more attention Nice one, Andy. All right. Don't even know where this sign is. But I know that Andy's on my shoulder. So, see if we can lead it out from far enough away. Can make him out. There it is. No, oh, he's got me. I think he's just got the roller resistance on me. Ha! Ah. No! 40k an hour! That's all she'll do! Ha ha! Chapeau Andy, that's 3 out of 3! And one of the disadvantages I've forgotten about, about running a uh, road cassette on a mountain bike. Shallower gaps I mean it's not as good at getting rid of grass. 
and junking it. So, uh, yeah. Well, I'm not skipping when it matters. So, that's a good sign of uh, different rolling resistances there. And he's just crept ahead. I'm trying to mimic his position as much as possible, but just rolling ahead slightly. Kind of makes sense, really, as to how it's been on the road. But not much in it, not much at all. Can't remember where this one is. It's on the corner, on the right corner. There we go. Not <laughs> yes, bit of a gradient. Less rolling speed. That's where we've got him. Whew. That's one back. I have to say, these wheels pop pretty damn well. Even though the tyre's obviously heavier. You're on nanos on that. Ah, oh, Neil's come up to play. <clears throat> nice one. It just goes to show. There's not that much difference in it. Oh, yeah, it's cut your jib, really. And while this has been massively sanitised, which is a shame, it's still nice to know you've got more tyre grip, 100mm of travel, than just a lot more pneumatic insurance. <laughs> And ripping it on the high ball level. Such a shame, this is such a good rocky descent. Oh no, swamp, swamp failed. <laughs> I thought I was going to carry more speed through there than Ben. Nope. Swampy mess and another. Ah! Oh. Come on again, you idiot. To rejoin at speed. Oh, line diversion! <laughs> Our tails do kind of roll. <laughs> nice one, mate. So, time that climb. Towards the end, 38k done. What do you reckon so far, Andy? Fantastic. Um, I think you've gone fast on that last 30k round on the gravel bike. Yeah, me too, to be honest. And it's not like tra tra trail conditions are much different either. No, and the time stays the same. <laughs> yeah. Right then. <laughs> 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 I think they're calling that one for the chisel. Yes, I says. Woo! Yeah. That's definitely for the chisel. It's got a kick, hasn't it? It's unbelievable. Unbelievable. <laughs> Power on, bang. <laughs> yeah, it likes a bit of power, considering how smooth it is. Interesting. <laughs> All right, what challenge next then, folks? I guess, uh, well, let's leave it open to you. What do you want to see me and the chisel do next? I was asking for it, literally. <laughs> and then when it comes to a bit of rooty, slightly soft wooded single track. And very much plays into the favour. The bigger tyres. Certainly raised some interesting questions about bike choice for Grand Giro next week. It really has. that looks like it's going to be quite a technical little course so if only i'm only losing 
a few watts, maybe a gear's worth. On the climbs, definitely going to be gaining some time back on the technical sections, or is that kind of not in the spirit of the event? I don't know. Maybe take both and do a straw poll. When I get there, let's see what the vibe is. <laughs> But you know, just the fact I'm thinking of that tells you something about just how rapid this chisel has been today. So there we go, uh, 45k in pretty much bang on two hours, mix of on road and off as you saw and in a weird way it's kind of raised more questions than it's answered because it was a lot closer to Andy on the gravel bike than I was expecting. I thought I was going to be really chewing the bars on all the road sections because Andy's not shy of twisting the knife. Uh, but yeah, I mean, and Ben keeping up on a very similar bike, his highballs set up rigged very similarly to this, but obviously carbon frame and a bit more cash. So uh, yeah, definitely, definitely a win for uh, the uh, chisel on this one, I think, in terms of expectations. And also there's a psychological thing about keeping up with someone on the road and chasing roadies down on a mountain bike is a real, well, someone has shallow drafted me emotionally, is a real bonus compared to doing it on a gravel, something that looks like a road bike. So, uh, like I say, what's the next challenge? What am I doing next on this? Uh, let's think of something. Uh, yeah, I mean, there's, all, there's some changes I'm going to make as well, I think. Uh, possibly go bigger on the chain ring. Maybe look for a lighter chain, uh, chain set. Drop the weight below nine kilos. But yeah, definitely considering this for Grand Euro uh, next week. And also, uh, that brings me back to thanks very much to Giro for sponsoring this channel. They also sponsor the Grand Euro. That's why I'm going to be there next week. Uh, massive thanks to PTs and Crud as well, and, uh, massive, and thanks as always to my Patreon supporters who subscribe on a monthly basis with a small pledge, and that gets them exclusive, extended, and early access and ad-free edits as well. But whether you want to subscribe on Patreon or not, it would be a massive bonus if you did. Really helps me uh, put more time aside for this channel. Uh, but anyway, click for notifications, click for subscriptions, uh, give this video a thumbs up, and I'll see you for the next one. But I've been Guy Kestevan on Guy Kest TV, doing a bit of gravel on a specialised chisel XC Experimental. I still can't say that right. Uh, limited edition.